Dr. Sinclair, what do you think about the transposon theory of aging? As cells get older, transposon becomes looser, dis disrupting normal cell function. Is this the epigenetic change that you also describe as the information theory of aging? Um, what, what do transposons have to do with uh, cellular function in this case? There's a lot. There's a lot. And uh, I do talk about it in my book, uh, which is uh, a good thing. So my short answer, you can always read more. Um, I, I love it. Uh, it's, it's a very important component of my theory. And uh, so John Sedevi and Vera Globanova and Steve Helfand deserve a lot of cre credit for recently showing, in, at least in animals and, and possibly in people, that the emergence of retrotransposons, a lot of this repetitive DNA in the cell, um, drives some aspects of aging and possibly a lot of it. Uh, and in fact, the SIRT6 gene that we've been working on for many years and first worked on in yeast cells in the 1990s uh, is a major suppressor of, of retrotransposons during aging. And that if you delete the gene for SIRT6, those mice go through rapid aging uh, ostensibly because those hellhounds have been released from the genome. And uh, so it does fit into the th my theory of aging. The epigenetic theory of aging says that as the as epigenetic information is lost, in other words, the structure of the three-dimensional nucleus is lost. Part of the problem is that genes come on when they shouldn't. And that's not just genes that specify vision and neuronal function. It also allows retrotransposons to be transcribed and multiply and leak out into the cytoplasm where they cause inflammation. Um, so it's a perfect part of uh, a perfect example of how the information theory of aging uh, includes and seems to explain um, many, if not all, of the observations over the last uh, few decades in the field of aging. And we haven't talked about senescent cells. They're extremely important, of course, accumulating during uh, aging and possibly by deleting them, we can reverse some aspects of aging. Uh, in my theory, the ultimate um, endpoint of a loss of epigenetic information, the you could say the accumulation of epigenetic noise and the loss of cellular identity in tissues is senescence. The cell will check out, stop dividing, and sit there as a senescent cell. So it could be that we need to use uh, fasting and exercise memetics, such as metformin, enamine, um, a wrapper log, for example, to slow down epigenetic changes. Um, then if they do eventually accumulate, we can delete those senescent cells with a senolytic. And then ultimately, what we want to be able to do is reprogram the body so that you don't get anywhere near that in the first place.